Victor, what's happening today? Today we're going to one of my favorite beaches. We're going to Tanta Bay. Tanta Bay. What what is that? Where is that? So it's uh, on the east coast of Kopangang, and it is uh, one of the previous kings. King uh, Bumibol. Exactly. Yeah, one of his yeah. favorite beaches. Somebody told me like he's been there already like twenty times or something. But yeah, uh, until he passed, well, uh, how long ago? A couple of years ago, right? Yeah, a few years yeah. ago now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they have a beautiful waterfall, and it's like one of those really secluded beaches. Uh, uh. Really beautiful, and it was also the first beach that I ever went to in Thailand. So like mm -hmm. twenty years ago, the first time I went somebody actually drew a map by hand with a piece of paper and a pen they're like okay you go the train down from Bangkok you take the boat here there's a group of islands and like really drawing islands and like yeah. then you go on this side of the island there you this is where you're going in Thailand this is and, the destination and did you have to go by dirt roads and trekking and stuff like back then or did you go by boat or I think dirt road yeah yeah uh, so there was already like a small path yeah. Yeah, and now it's a really nice road and the Almost road is amazing yeah. so beautiful to go bike riding there yeah. let's cool. go man let's, let's go. do it and uh, you can join us enjoy the ride yeah cool. yeah Woo. <laughs> <laughs> what's up gabriel not too much hanging out in kopanyan it's all good beautiful right? day perfect day here yeah it's been a while. We're stoked, I know. It's been a little more than a year. Nice to see you again. The fourth country we've uh, been in together. <laughs> I think Excellent. you're the only person that I've met in four separate countries. Yeah, I, I told you of. once in one video, I remember like, I want to be the person that, except you, are the most uh, viewed on your YouTube channel. Yeah. And there was one girl that like had already... So it's my friend Abram that's actually way ahead because he's yeah. you know oh, shit. Okay. for years but, but i have the most countries right yeah okay so it's not something at exactly least. Oh. it's a record so we're heading towards a waterfall and a you know, beautiful jungle beach Tansadet. um but we stopped along the way to admire these two huge incredible trees known as the broccoli trees <laughs> no i'm not sure <laughs> don't know the name but check it out they're so huge. Just love these trees. Every time I pass by them, I have to just admire. Okay, so you're on a long trip. Six months of traveling. 20, I think this is my 20th country on this trip. On this trip. In Most people months. say like, this is my 20th country. You're like, oh, there's like, oh, on this trip. Yeah, I had no idea it was gonna turn into this big of a adventure but uh, it's been amazing cool yeah it's always nice to go exploring with you right on yeah. absolutely yeah yeah all right looking forward to seeing more of this island cool so gabriel what do you think about tansadet amazing quite nice huh beautiful yeah it's perfect Great spot ride. to relax and have your lunch. Yeah. And then go for a swim. I, I saw you were kind of filming while you were driving the bike. How did it go? It, it went alright. Yeah, I was yeah. a bit worried for you. I was like, hopefully. It's, I just don't want too much speed. Yeah. As long as we're going mellow and there isn't too much uh, other traffic around to watch out for, then. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of used to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. scene, right? With the jungle and everything. Amazing. So cool. So um, I mentioned to Gabriel also that. There's another beach behind kind of those cliffs over there where there used to be a resort with a few bungalows and stuff. But the government came and said that you've built your resort on uh, the national park of Tansadet, which is a big part of this island, like a jungle reserve. And they had to abandon it. So now there's all these kind of spooky looking abandoned buildings that we're going to go check out. But first, some food and relax a little bit on the beach. Hey, check it out. Here comes Peter and Bruno. Hey, guys. Hey. It's going great. I got a feast here. Food pancake. Yeah. Hey, Bruno. We're having a little 
big meal. You guys were up on the restaurant there, right? Yeah. Saw you waving. Having a good day? Oh yeah, really nice. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. Um, dude, uh, it's, it looks pretty good, but when I got here, I've been away for one and a half year. It was kind of rusty here and very, not very sharp. Yeah. Kind of difficult to get it really sharp. I think it's uh, probably the cheapest iron you can get, but. Uh, Oh, it's really looks, nice there. Looks nice. So is that one that you couldn't fly with? Like you couldn't take it out of the country or? No, I don't remember. What's that? Well, like that you, like would it be illegal to have that in Sweden or something like that for some reason because it's too big or whatever? Or? No, no, you can't wear it in public. You can't. I don't know if you can do that here either. I haven't okay. checked actually. But, uh, Nobody bothered you about it so far. So. Nobody dared to bother him about it. Probably not. In, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> Let's not start an argument with this guy. Yeah. All right. So let's check out this abandoned beach with the resort that they had to just leave basically because uh, it being a national park and all. It must be kind of frustrating, right? Investing your life savings in, into a project like a resort and then the government coming now, ah, you built it a little bit close to the forest over here. Yeah. Well, they did that in Humpy as well. You yeah. Humpy, right? Yeah, I just yeah. remember. And it was kind of the same sort of thing. They, they actually came in with bulldozers. They gave notice four hours beforehand and showed up with bulldozers and just, and just knocked down buildings, but kind of indiscriminately and left some. And knock down others. Jesus Christ, four yeah. hours notice? Yeah, literally. Like people that live there for like their life. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's India for you. That's India, yeah. Get the land here. Maybe, uh, maybe someone made a really good deal and then realized it wasn't so good after all. Yeah. But we don't know the full story. But I actually have seen it for sale. I think it was for sale for 40 million baht or something a couple of years ago. But, um, like one million uh, euros. Yeah, something like that. A little bit more. Okay, check out this construction here. Like a bridge, wooden bridge. And uh, the Tansadet waterfalls are coming out into the ocean right there. That's something we're gonna explore as well. We have to go up a little bit higher into the jungle to see the actual water falling. Remember jumping from those cliffs long time ago and there was uh, they call it water fleas well you can't really see them but they bite you under the water and it stings like hell so I was swimming as fast as I could back to shore that used to be a restaurant as well that last house there think they had to abandon oh thank you <laughs> what do I have here like some kind of jungle mushroom or some kind of plant what is that it's traces the tourists have been there Oh, I think it's the Swedish kanelbulle, the bun. You think these buildings already here are abandoned? No, no? I think some people live here.
these are the abandoned ones we're talking about? Uh, Peter thought people were living in these, so we, I think we have to get over to the next beach. That's more where the abandoned resort is. Okay. There's a lot of graffiti. Magic, magic mushrooms. Yeah. What a waste, right? Yeah, really. Any idea when that happened? I mean, by the looks of this thing. Maybe like five years? Quite a few years. Five years ago, okay. I'm just speculating, but something yeah. like that. This type of shrine, you mean? Or? Yeah, like why it would be here. So, do you know the, the story about uh, when they tear down a house, they build a shrine like spirits, this yeah. next to the new house mm. for the spirits of the old house to enter. So, yeah, um, that's what a lot of the ones that you see next to houses are, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this could be the same thing, but... Could be, definitely. Possible. Yeah. Check out all these abandoned structures here. Just took a swim with this uh, beautiful beach down here, and uh, fortunately, it's not so good to swim there without shoes. So, well, and I was thinking I've been there before, no worries. But uh, apparently, I had some sandals on my feet last time. Not this time, too bad. No more dancing for a while. It's a bit rocky here. Wow, there's some waves coming in.
<laughs> hey, how was the water? So nice. You swam out quite far. A little ways, but uh, it was still kind of shallow. Yeah. I was wishing that I had the goggles so that I could see what's under there, though. But those waters are nothing like Greece. No. There's nice, just crystal clear waters where you can just see for dozens of feet under there. You there's think there's it's... like a, uh, you know, murkiness or haziness or whatever to it. I think even with the goggles, I wouldn't really see that far. But don't you think it's because the sea is a little bit rough today? Could it be? I'm sure that, and also just maybe you got to get farther out. Yeah. It can depend on the beach. Yeah, a bit more of waves here. It was quite rocky though on the way out, right? Yeah. Peter actually hurt his foot. It was waving like or something. Maybe. That's but... why I put those sandals on. Yeah, good idea. Because there's massive rocks under there that kind of sneak up on you. Yeah. But once you get past like that big rock right there, then there's no more of those rocks. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Then it was just sand or? Yeah. Because you were standing yeah. like... Yeah, it's yeah. clear. Okay, cool. Hmm. I saw some of the Russian cats down back behind us painting graffiti. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, with them like spray cans. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's kind of funny. My first time actually seeing it in action, I think. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> mm. So, beautiful day at the beach, huh? Oh, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, now as we've left the beach, headed up a little bit into the jungle, we were thinking to check out the Tansadet waterfall. And there's a few different paths leading down to it from the main road. So I don't know if I've been on this exact spot. But, uh, yeah, as I was telling you before, Gabriel, it was kind of... I decided like from the top of the waterfall, I decided to trek all the way down along the waterfall to the beach. Mm -hmm. And that's when I uh, at one point slipped ah, and fell crazy. down like into like a, what do you call it? Like a crevice. Yeah, really scary. It was like my heartbeat went up like adrenaline 100% and I just caught myself on the way down like in between two cliffs. Like pressing in opposite directions. Like, Sounds holy sketchy shit. as hell. Oh, it was so scary. I was really scared, yeah. but then I uh, managed to climb up rocks with the water and, and by myself also. So it's yeah. like you couldn't have called for help, and you're off the trail. And exactly, but uh, it went good. Down. Yeah. I'm curious to see that spot, but I guess it'll be a ways down. Somewhere it could be up also. I'm not sure. Okay. It's quite a long waterfall. I see. Like a creek almost at some points. Okay, and it's called Town to that waterfall. Yeah. So it hasn't been raining much lately, which means the water is not very high. Yeah, so I guess a lot of stuff. Strong. Yeah. But what a cool area, these boulders and... Yeah, a little bit like humpy, right? Well, <laughs> so much more jungly. <laughs> yeah. But it does have the boulder. <laughs> Didn't I say that once before in a video? In somewhere else? I think so. Did was it, that in your video? I was like, like humpy? Yeah, I was like, I this know. seems like humpy. Yeah, when we, we, when we were in Greece. <laughs> we on, were in a on, Greek on island. Simi? Yeah, like we took a boat trip okay. and then around Simi somewhere. And I was like, this reminds me about humpy. And I guess then you I... cut in like a picture of humpy. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I guess you like humpy if you keep coming yeah. huh? Yeah, must be. Wow, look at that tree over there. Beautiful. I'm gonna do the same thing and cut in a clip of hump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's more of a cascade or something than a real yeah. waterfall.
through here on the rock, but the wood level sometimes goes up. Right. Here somewhere. Yeah, then it will be yeah. powerful. We're back here after the rain. rain. Yeah, that must be amazing. Because yeah, you can really see like like a river, but above above <laughs> where it normally is below water, right? Yeah. The tree is amazing in the middle of the stream. So gorgeous. Uh -huh. There's something climbing in the tree. Is that it, like a monkey or like a bigfoot or something? Nice. Oh, so nice, so cool and fresh. And it's not salt. Uh, I must be coming up from the mountain. It's super clean. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, Gabriel. Check this guy out. <laughs> From the tree. <laughs> the blessing. 